Rocketman is a 2019 biographical musical film based on the life of musician Elton John. Directed by Dexter Fletcher and written by Lee Hall, it stars Taron Egerton as John, with Jamie Bell, Richard Madden, and Bryce Dallas Howard. The film follows John's early days as a prodigy at the Royal Academy of Music to his musical partnership with Bernie Toppin. The film is titled after John's 1972 song, Rocket Man. An Elton John biopic had been in development for almost two decades, with the project going through studios including Walt Disney Studios and Focus Features, directors including Michael Gracie, and actors including Tom Hardy and Justin Timberlake. After creative differences with Focus halted an initial production start in 2014, John took the project to Paramount Pictures, with Egerton and Fletcher signing on in April 2018. Principal photography began in August 2018 and was completed later that year. Rocketman premiered at the Cannes Film Festival on 16 May 2019, and was released in the United Kingdom on the 22nd of May 2019 and in the United States on 31 May 2019. The film received positive reviews from critics, with Egerton's performance and the musical numbers receiving general praise. It is the first major Hollywood production to show a gay male sex scene on screen. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Plot. As a child, Reginald Reggie Dwight is raised by his cold mother Sheila and more caring grandmother Ivy, while his father Stanley is away doing his service in the Royal Air Force. Reggie shows interest in playing the piano, and soon begins studying at the Royal Academy of Music. Stanley, who has never showed any love towards his son, eventually abandons his family after Sheila has an affair with another man. Reggie takes up an interest in rock music such as Elvis Presley, and begins performing in local pubs before joining a band, Bluesology. As an adult, Reggie changes his name to Elton John and tries to find success with Dick James's publishing company under the management of Ray Williams. Williams introduces Elton to songwriter Bernie Toppin and the two quickly form a friendship, with Toppin accepting both Elton and his homosexuality. The duo impress James with the song, Your Song and he sets up a performance for them at Troubadour in Los Angeles. The audience love Elton's performance. At a party afterwards, he feels abandoned when Toppin leaves him to be with a woman. Elton is approached by John Reed, a music manager who is attracted to Elton. The two sleep together and reunite later. Reed's influence over Elton causes him to spiral into a life of debauchery as his career takes off and he becomes a successful musician, embracing a flamboyant stage persona. After Elton appoints him as his new manager, Reed starts to manipulate Elton and insists that he comes out to his mother and father as gay so they can help hide their sexual relationship from the press. Sheila bluntly informs Elton she was aware of his sexuality and doesn't care, telling him that he's facing a life of being alone forever. Elton finds Stanley and doesn't tell him that he's gay, upset by his father's happiness with his new family and ignorance of his old one. Struggling with his parental issues, as well as Reed's increasing abuse, Elton becomes addicted to alcohol cocaine, and sex. At a house party, he consumes a dangerous amount of drugs and alcohol and attempts suicide by jumping into his pool. He is rushed into the hospital and not long after is forced back on stage to continue his performances. Elton falls out with both his mother and Toppin. 
Feeling angry and depressed, he consumes prescription pills and alcohol, causing him to have a heart attack. He is once again rushed into hospital. Reed hears the news and waves it off as a mild chest infection, forcing Elton to get back on stage for his next performance. Realizing that his life is spiraling out of control, Elton leaves before the performance and finally seeks help. He enters rehabilitation and learns he no longer needs anything from his parents or Reed. Elton repairs his friendship with Toppin and returns to performing. Today, Elton John has been sober for nearly 30 years, remains friends and collaborators with Toppin, and is married to his husband, David Furnish, with whom he has two children. Topic. Cast Topic. Production Topic. Development Elton John and husband David Furnish had tried to produce a film based on his life for almost two decades. The earliest dated back to 2001, when the film initially started at Walt Disney Studios, with photographer David Lashapel set to direct the film after his work on the video for John's 2001 single, This Train Don't Stop Here Anymore, which featured Justin Timberlake as a young John. However, no further development took place from Disney since then. In an article written for The Guardian, John said that he struggled to get the project off the ground due to studios wanting the film to be toned down to a PG-13 rating instead of AR rating. In January 2012, John announced that he had named Timberlake as his top choice to play him in the film. Lee Hall was set to pen the screenplay. In March 2013, Michael Gracie was hired to direct, with Tom Hardy cast in October to play John and Focus Features acquiring the U.S. distribution rights. Filming was initially planned to start in autumn 2014. However, creative differences between John and Focus along with budget issues caused him and Furnish take the project elsewhere. No further development on the film was announced until July 2017, when it was announced Hardy was no longer involved with the project, and Taron Egerton entered negotiations to replace him. While editing Kingsman, The Golden Circle, Matthew Vaughn learned about the project and took interest in producing the film on the condition that Egerton played John. Vaughn then picked Dexter Fletcher, who had replaced Brian Singer during the production of the Queen biopic Bohemian Rhapsody, to direct the film after Gracie was busy with The Greatest Showman. The producers then filmed a sequence of Egerton as John performing two of John's songs and presented it to Jim Janopoulos, who had worked with Vaughn on the Kingsman franchise at 20th Century Fox and was now the CEO of Paramount Pictures. Paramount agreed to finance the film in exchange for worldwide distribution rights. It was reported that Egerton would sing the songs in the film himself produced by Giles Martin who was by then brought on as music director for the project. In an interview at CinemaCon, Egerton stated the film would be more of a fantasy musical as opposed to a straightforward biopic. <laughs> Casting. In April 2018, Taron Egerton was officially cast to play the musician in the film. Egerton had previously appeared with John in the 2017 film Kingsman, The Golden Circle, and Egerton, as Johnny the Gorilla, sang John's song, I'm Still Standing, in the animated film Sing. 
In June, the role of Bernie Toppin was given to Jamie Bell. In July, Richard Madden entered negotiations to play John Reed, and Bryce Dallas Howard was cast to play John's mother. Gemma Jones was announced as being cast in the film in October. Topic. Filming Production commenced on 2 August 2018. Also in October 2018, it was announced the film was shooting in London. Filming commenced at Bray Film Studios near Maidenhead, Berkshire. In March 2019, it was reported by the Daily Mail that Paramount pressured Fletcher to tone down some of the sex scenes. However, Fletcher stated on Twitter that the rumors were false. <laughs> <laughs> Soundtrack An official soundtrack album Rocket Man, music from the motion picture, was released by Virgin Emmy UK and Island Records US on CD and digital formats on the 24th of May 2019. The album contains 22 tracks of several hits performed by the cast of the film and a newly written track, I'm Gonna Love Me Again, featuring vocals by Egerton and John together. This is the only song Elton features on. Topic. Track listing All tracks produced by Giles Martin, except, I'm Gonna Love Me Again, produced by Martin and Greg Kirsten. Topic. Release Rocketman made its world premiere at the Cannes Film Festival on 16 May 2019 and was released in the United Kingdom on the 22nd of May 2019. The film was initially scheduled to be released in the United States on 17 May 2019, but was pushed back to 31 May 2019, in Russia, where the film is scheduled to be released on 6 June 2019. About five minutes of footage was removed from the final cut. Central Partnership, the company in charge of distribution in the country, removed all scenes involving homosexuality and drugs, a move that was criticized by both John and Paramount. Reception Box office As of 31 May 2019, Rocketman has grossed $9.2 million in the United States and Canada, and $6.8 million in other territories, for a worldwide total of $16 million, against a production budget of $40 million. In the United States and Canada, Rocketman was released alongside Godzilla. King of the Monsters and Ma, and is projected to gross twenty dollars minus twenty five million from three thousand six hundred ten theaters in its opening weekend. The film made nine point two million dollars on its first day, including one point eight million dollars from Thursday night previews and five hundred eighty thousand dollars from the eighteenth of May paid advanced Fandango screenings for a preview total of two point three million dollars in the United Kingdom. It debuted to six point four million dollars, finishing second behind fellow new release Aladdin. The film is projected to gross around $20 million from international markets as it is released alongside the U.S. Topic. Critical response 
On review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, Rocketman holds an approval rating of 90% based on 234 reviews, with an average rating of 7.6710. The site's critical consensus reads, "...it's going to be a long, long time before a rock biopic manages to capture the highs and lows of an artist's life like Rocketman." On Metacritic, the film has a weighted average score of 71 out of 100, based on 45 critics, indicating, "...generally favorable reviews." Audiences polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of, "...A." on an A plus to F scale, while those at PostTrek gave it an average 4 out of 5 stars and a 69%. Definite recommend, Steve Pond of Therap said. It's all grand and fun and corny, a musical fantasy that reaches for the sky and gets there often enough to make it diverting. The Guardian's Peter Bradshaw gave the film three stars out of five, saying Egerton did a good impression of the flamboyant musician and writing. Rocketman is an honest, heartfelt tribute to Elton John's music and his public image." In the same newspaper, Mark Kermode gave it five stars, writing that, "...Fletcher is the real star of this show, a director whose enthusiasm for musical storytelling shines through every frame." Accolades <laughs> <laughs>